Okay, so I'm going to quickly run through how to install Silverstripe CMS. If you're new to Silverstripe, it's an open source CMS. Um, it's really developer friendly. It, it really allows um, some good customization. Um, you can actually get in there and, and just make the updates you want. Um, for an end user, it's got a really nice um, CMS, nice and straightforward, very intuitive. Um, and you'll get to see that in a couple of minutes. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to silverstripe.org. So you can see here, if we just go to the downloads for free, you can get to the downloads page. Um, for the CMS and framework, what we want is this button here. So we're on 3.1.6 at the moment. So I've just pulled that down and I've dropped it in my local local directory here. I've got a local development environment which is um, what I'm going to use for development here. Um, so if I've just unzipped it, dropped it into my um, home folder here and then if I go to the to that domain which I've just set up locally it takes me to the install page. <coughs> it's requiring a few things here so it's looking for the um, database server and it will also ask me for an admin user account so here we go so if I just add in my details here and the database name is there it is okay so I'm running a MySQL 5 yes okay and so I just need admin details here I'm just going to use admin and admin just for the sake of simplicity I'll update the language to be real English and here we've got a selection we can either start with an empty theme or we can have a default theme and simple really is it is what it says it's simple it gives you some you know real indication of um, of where you need to be so it, it really works if, if it's the first thing you're going to install then it, it really works okay so let's install I don't want to save here now sometimes or this can take maybe 30 seconds or so so um, if you want to learn more about Silver Stripe I'm going to be taking um, really small incremental steps on how to do simple things with Silver Stripe so if you subscribe to this YouTube channel um, and as as new videos come along you'll be you'll be able to see them so currently on the on the Silver Stripe site there are um, a few a few sort of larger tutorials written tutorials so I'll just take take you through those um, in video format and then as those are complete I'll take you through um, some some common um, functionality of websites things like maybe uh, member areas um, and maybe galleries that type of thing okay so that's installed so I need to delete the installation files for security reasons and that's done so this um, is the simple theme which is what we installed so if I go admin I log in. Okay, so I need to delete the install.php, which is so I've got my my ss stripe uh, site, which is silver stripe my ss site.com. So I'm in here, the install file. Let's delete that. This is just my editor, which is NetBeans. Let me just refresh that. Okay, so let's get in there. Okay, so this is how the the CMS looks. Nice and straightforward, very intuitive. We'll take you through that um, in more detail a bit later. Um, I'll just quickly run you through the files. So here we have assets. So obviously, um, this is where the files and images uh, files and images get uploaded we have I'll just skip one so we've got framework um, silver stripe comes with its own framework it's called sapphire it's uh, very robust nice to use 
and it's actually what the CMS is built on. So we have the CMS files here, we have the framework which is um, a lot of what we'll be using in the near future and then we've got themes and we've got simple install at the moment. Um, my site here, this is where our most of our um, code editing will be doing uh, will be done so there'll be the there's the models and the controllers there and that really wraps it up for this first this first tutorial i hope that gets you going